Alright everybody, today is June 12th, 2020, and as always, welcome back to Southeast South Dakota. Today's the day, folks. Today is the day that we start cutting first crop. Grandpa actually just passed me in the 6140D with the bush hog on the side. He just got done with the first round here. He's gonna do a few more, and I think he's gonna split the field off after that and do the bottom section here, and then we'll do the hill after that. Uh, there's a ditch in there that he likes to go alongside, so it's easier on the hay rake when we come through with that. We have a maybe a week or two of dry weather now in the forecast, so we thought maybe it'd be time to finally get this hay cut. Today's Friday, we'll probably wait until about Monday or so, and then we will come through with the hay rake behind the 4700. Uh, we have a custom baler come through, and he'll bale it for us, and then put it in a line, wait until we can get it sold. With that, Let's get right into the video. I stopped out here I think uh, we can take a look at the hay here doesn't really matter how long you wait with grass because it'll it'll cut anytime but of course alfalfa you got to get going as soon as it starts to flower head out whatnot it's not doing too bad of a job cutting this is some pretty thick stuff that's some nice that's some nice grass right there right over there that's the field that I mowed about a week ago if you watch the spraying video that's the weed field I mowed He'll probably do this section. I'll probably do the hillside here. Guess who? Now it's my turn. Well, as you can see, we're mowing here finally. Had to wait all morning. <laughs> now once we get all this done, we'll just wait for it to dry and then break it up. You know, a lot of guys probably mow with a moco or a bat wing or something. Well, maybe not a bat wing, but, but uh, yeah, this is what we got. A bush hog. Doesn't do too bad. We changed a few of the blades on it this morning and Oh, there's a bump. And it seems to be doing a lot better cutting wise than it did uh, last time we used it, so that's good. It might be hard to tell on camera, but uh, we took a short break in between getting that section done and this starting this one, so you can actually see the color difference between these two sections. That one is a lot uh, grayer 
then uh, this one, this one's a lot greener. Here's the last little bit right here of the field. There you have it. It's finally Monday. Uh, the date is June 15th, I believe. Yep. Uh, we're out here at the hay field this morning. It's about 6 a.m. As you can see, this hay is like bone dry. It has been extremely windy the last couple days so this hay has had no problem drying down however it is it has had a problem trying to bail itself over the last couple days if you can see it got kind of rolly out there grandpa is currently cutting through the valley over there doing the first pass with the rake uh, the number on that rake is a new holland 255 i checked the tag on the back he does one pass going that way and then he has to go back the other way once we get done we have a custom baler lined up later this morning once we get this raked and uh, hopefully get a bail before it gets too windy.
as you can see, uh, Grandpa got the whole bottom section raked up. Just starting the first pass on the top one. Not as much hay up here, so shouldn't take as long. We've been having issues today. The wind is coming out of the south, and uh, when we're going into the wind, the uh, hay is picking up and clogging the rake, really. It's been kind of slow, but we're getting it done. Well, I did get to rake there a little bit in the end. Uh, I got some of the hillside I got to rake. I think I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, the baler guy is on his way over. Next video will be that. Um, he's on his way. So we'll see what happens once he gets here. So with that, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and see you in part two of First Crop.